What's good sneaker fam, welcome back to our sneakers. Before I start, I do want to say that the pre-orders for my shirt are still going on on my website. As you can see, it does have our sneakers on the front, and it also has the three shoes on the side. It has a V2 on top, it has an Ultra Boost in the middle, and then a Jordan 1 in the bottom. Also, I am still doing the Jordan 1 raffle. It is for the Jordan 1 top three, as you guys can see. It is in the size 7.5, and, and there's a total of 300 entries, and every entry costs a dollar each. You can go in the description down below to find the link to the Jordan 1 raffle and also to where to purchase the t-shirts. Anyways, today I do want to talk about something that's like really been floating around, like a lot of people have been asking me about it, and that is about reselling. To be honest, guys, reselling is not an easy thing to do. It might seem easy. It seems like people do it so easily, like they just go out and buy the shoes and they sell them right away, but it's not as easy as it looks because the hard part, obviously, is getting the shoes. But the people you see that have the really big quantity of shoes are the people that have already connects with a bunch of other sneaker stores or they've already been in the game for quite a long time. And what I mean that they have connects with the sneaker stores is, believe it or not, a lot of stores do backdoor. What backdoor is, is them selling sneakers to people that aren't customers. So basically they're selling them to probably, let's say, one, two, three, whoever, it doesn't matter, but they're selling them backdoors. Like, they're not selling them to you guys. So that's why most of the time when you guys go to get the shoes as a customer, they are limited quantities because they do backdoor the shoes. And sometimes they might even say they're not getting them because they already backdoored all the pairs. And unfortunately, that's how the reselling game is nowadays. If you already establish your base, then you're pretty much set. So the way stores backdoor is like, all right, they get the shoe for whatever price they buy it for, and then they sell them at retail. And of course, at that retail price, they're making profit. Let's talk about these that just recently released. They retail at 220, right? Well, let's say there's somebody that has a lot of money and they're willing to spend $300 for the Yeezys for each pair. So in the end, the store is getting another $80 profit from that shoe. And whether it be the store owner or the store itself or the company or whoever wants to keep the money, they're pocketing that money. So in the end, the store owner is making money or the store itself is making money. I'm not exactly too sure, but I know obviously that money has to go somewhere. That person that bought the, each shoe for $300, the Yeezys now are going for like $400 and plus. So he, even if he sells them at the lowest price, he's still making a hundred bucks profit per shoe. In the end, that's a lot of money because sometimes these people buy out the store's whole stocks. And moving on to the bot resellers, these are the people that use bots to get their shoes. These people are the people that know how to use their bots really well. They know how to get big quantities and resell them. And basically these kind of resellers, they already have their customers. They already have their clients that will buy their shoes from them immediately as soon as they get them. That's why it's a little more complicated for the average Joe to actually just go ahead and buy a shoe and then resell it. But for those kind of people, there's apps like Go and StockX where you can just sell your shoes immediately. I hate to say it, but if you're not in the reselling game right now, then it's going to be really hard to get into it or you just won't get into it at all just because you have to actually establish your customers. And it's really hard unless you sell on the apps like I said. But the thing with the apps is you don't always get the price you want, so it's a little more difficult there. But if you find something at the prices that the people are offering, then go right ahead and do that. But unfortunately, if you're not established already, then it's gonna be really hard because nowadays there's so many people trying to get in the reselling game. Like you guys don't even know how many of my friends or my friends have hit me up to actually help them resell shoes or help them get shoes and this and that. And yes, I did say friends because that's all they hit me up for. Well, sorry I had to go on that little rant, guys. I just had to tell those that actually like want to get into reselling, I gotta let them know what it's like before they actually get into it because I know there's people that want to dedicate themselves to that, but I want them to make sure like if it if it's really something they want to do this video is probably gonna get a lot of hate in the comments below or a lot of dislikes but if you did enjoy the video make sure you give it a thumbs up also make sure you keep subscribing we are trying to get to 10,000 by february 11th which is sneaker con fort lauderdale make sure you stay woke our sneaker sign out peace